Kearney's very diverse, you know, it's a pretty white collar community. Our, our hospital is the largest employer. And then we're a farming community for sure. Uh, we have the opportunity to work with a lot of agricultural people and it's great, great people. My dad and mom met here, my mom grew up here. I've been here forever. I guess I'm not leaving, you know, and stuff. But it's a great town, we love it here. Jenny and I met in college. Jenny, Jenny comes from uh, Columbus, Nebraska, so not very far away. She came down here to school. We met in school and um, she asked me on our first date, which was, I knew I should go into sales. Once that happened, I thought that was probably a good deal. <laughs> Way out of my league, for sure. And uh, we've been married for 27 years. We have three kids. Uh, our son, Brand, is 24, lives in Lincoln. Uh, our daughter, Alexis, goes to Cedarville University out in Ohio. And then our daughter, Brooke, is a senior. So we'll be empty nesters after this year. So I'm looking forward to it. Jenny, probably not so much. <laughs> And when I heard the word leukemia, all I thought was little kids that lose their hair and die. That's just, that's what I heard. So I thought, well, she's gonna lose her hair and die. And uh, I thought, well, this sucks. You know, you know and stuff. it was really weird. So I, I remember I went into uh, our bedroom and I fell on my knees and prayed. That was the first time I ever did that. Three, four months later, she got out of the hospital, started doing better, and, and uh, started improving. And she wasn't the little kid that lost her hair and died. She lost her hair, she just didn't die. We, we've just been given an opportunity to live life together that uh, we didn't know we were gonna get. And so, uh, might as well take that opportunity to do something for somebody else. Going through that stuff, I you wouldn't bless you wouldn't wish it upon anybody, but it was actually a blessing that we went through that because it's made us who we are. thing Jenny and I are doing right now is we've started mentoring a lot of these college age kids that come to town which is super cool. My son left and went off to college then. We, you know Jenny I think had a little void and so she noticed this girl at church that was would come by herself you know and stuff. She kind of started connecting this girl and going to coffee with her and all those different kinds of things and and, uh, and so you know we have them over we just uh, have dinners and make TikTok videos and all that sort of stuff and uh, you know get to spend time with these kids and and uh, Jenny meets with two of them every week and just one-on-one -on -one just meets with them and then does a Bible study with them and stuff and just has an impact on their life. So that's, that's really fun. The Todd Becker Foundation was started back in 2005 when my 18-year-old brother Todd was tragically killed in an alcohol-related car crash. He was a senior in high school and unfortunately him and his friends had been out partying and drinking and um, my brother chose to get in the car with his friends who were all drunk and they were in a tragic car accident and Todd was the only one who was killed. So when people ask what is the Todd Becker Foundation, it's a ministry geared towards high school youth as a challenge for them to live to reach their full potential in life. Todd had so much potential and to challenge them to follow Jesus Christ on the narrow road, that Matthew 7 verse 13 narrow road. You know, if it just reaches one, if it just helps one person not make the poor life ending choice that Todd made, then it's all worth it. And so the Todd Becker Foundation is just, they're just like that light in a darkness.
You cannot say enough good things about Ameris. They have changed my life beyond what I, you know, not just financially and all those things. Those things are amazing and experiences are amazing. But I get to work with people that I truly think are high honor character people that I just admire and respect so much. For Gary to get this award, it means um, to him, I would think it was just a huge honor just to, you know, being an example, stepping outside that comfort zone and just proud of him and all his efforts. So when those guys called to just say that I'd received the Lester Rosen award, it was like they were saying, you're worth it. So to them, they were giving me an award. To me, I was like, I've finally done enough. So it means a lot. <laughs>